Welcome to Keeping In Sync with Microsoft 365 for this week, the 26th of June. Starting as always with a reminder that certain things may be a bit of a surprise in terms of dates changing or certain features being rolled out by default by Microsoft or by default off by Microsoft or by your IT team. Starting off with Microsoft Lists is getting a number of updates, uh, including overall performance and some new features, such as the ability to drag and drop or paste uh, images directly into a list. Uh, also, you'll be able to add ratings into a list. Also see who's collaborating with you in real time and even be able to switch views simply by clicking tabs, um, as well as some other features coming out. Uh, these particular updates are rolling out mid-July to late September. Now, something that uh, you might not actually even notice will be going away is that Microsoft will be retiring the quick settings pane in Outlook on the web and what's called the new Outlook for Windows preview. So instead, when you click on the settings gear icon um, in uh, the, the header of Outlook on the web, you will directly be navigated to the full settings window. So something you could get to before, but took an extra click, whereas now one less click for you. So plenty of time back in your day. This is rolling away now through to the end of June. Now, if you've synchronized a library from SharePoint or Teams, or same thing really, uh, but some files aren't coming down to your computer, this new feature might help explain why. A new area in the advanced setting of your OneDrive sync application will show you any files that have been excluded from synchronizing, which would have been due to admin configuration settings preventing certain file types, for example, executable application files, because we don't need to synchronize those to the cloud or from the cloud. Uh, this is rolling out right now. Now, in the world of Microsoft Teams and sharing apps, there is a new feature around how you can actually share apps that makes it easy to go directly from the app details dialog into a chat, group chat, or channel. Now, unfortunately, a screenshot wasn't provided in the post, and despite my early access to these features, I wasn't able to get anything except the ability to share an app while in a meeting from hovering over it in my application tray in Windows. Super exciting stuff, I'm sure. Uh, so uh, this is apparently rolling out now to late June. So given the time of day, uh, the time of month of this particular video, we'll see what, uh, what shows up. Now, Microsoft Teams panels are adding a new particular feature, allowing you to book a meeting room right from a QR code. These particular um, panels will show up in the top left of the screen and allow you to book the meeting room for meetings now, in the future, or add the room to an existing meeting simply by using that QR code. Uh, now these panels can either schedule a new meeting with the room pre-populated for you, um, or easily see the room's availability for your meetings and book the room with one click, or realistically, more like a thumb press. This is rolling out early August to early September. And that's it for Keeping In Sync with Microsoft 365 this week.